This week's Tableau Tip Tuesday is about using dynamic grouping and filtering for competitor analytics. This question came about through our Information Lab Center of Excellence. Essentially, what was being asked was how can you compare a company to other companies but only look at it for products that both companies sell? So again, we're trying to compare one company to its competition but only for products that both companies sell. So I've connected to Superstore Sales in this example. And the first thing I'm going to do is just to make it a little bit easier to understand, I'm just going to go ahead and rename region to companies. And you'll see that I just get, again, it's, it's still just my list of regions. And what I'm going to do, again, for this example, is I'm just going to rename central to us. So in other words, it's you and your competitors. OK, great. So uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to put product name in the rows. And let's go ahead and put sales on the text. And we can see if we look at it for every, every company, you'll see that for the, every, every region sells uh, the first product, which is good. But if I want to compare us to the south, or I'm sorry, us to the east, I would not want to include this product because the east does not sell it. I would only want to include uh, products that both me and that our company and the East sell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a parameter. And I'm going to call it choose a competitor. And this is going to be a string. And I'm, I'm going to populate it from the field companies. And I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of ourselves. So in other words, the east, south, and west are our competition. So let's go ahead and show that parameter control. All right, we've got that over here on the right-hand side. So the next thing we need to do is we need to filter this list of companies to just either us or the one that's picked from the list. So to do that, I'm going to create a calculated field. And I'm just going to call it competitor filter. And this is going to be pretty straightforward. I'm going to say companies equals central, who is us. So the us is just an alias. The actual value is competitor. Or companies equals my parameter. So that's going to say return me either central or the one that I picked from the list. So now if I drag this into the filters, and I can pick the true option, you'll see that it filters to just us and the east. If I switch it to the south, it shows us and the south. If I switch to the west, it shows just us in the west. Now the next step is to only show products that we both sell. So for example, these three products here, oops, didn't mean to do that. These three products here, we would not want to include because they, we don't sell both of them. We don't, we don't both sell those products. So how do we go about accomplishing that? So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to create a calculated field. And I'm just going to call it does product exist. And you could do all of these calculations um, probably in fewer steps, but I'm just going to walk you through kind of the way that I think about it. I like to create lots of calculations in case I need to reuse the parts. So I'm just going to make this account D of product name and hit OK. So now if we put that in the view, you'll see that we have one and one. So they both sell it. All right, one and zero. So the idea here is, we only, what we want to do is we want to kind of get the total of this. And if the total of this is two, we want to keep it. But if the total is only one, then we don't want to keep it. So to do that, I'm going to create a table calculation. So I'm going to say both companies, or actually I'm going to call this companies selling product. And here I'm going to say, if I am on the first cell, then, uh, so if I'm the first cell, then what I want to do is I want to get the window max of the running sum of our does product exist. So that's going to basically go across our view and, and summarize those. Else, I just want to do the running sum of does product exist, end. Okay, 
So let's see what this does when we put it in the view. So company selling product, I'm going to stick that in the view. And we need to change this to compute by product name. So here we go. So now you can see, uh, so this should be, I'm sorry, I did that wrong. So this should be computing using companies. Okay, so here you can see both of them sell, so it's two. Both of them sell, so it's two. Both of them, uh, only the West sells it, so it's just one. And let's see if we can find an example where just the, so and then we have this example here where only the West sells it, so it's just one. Great, so now we can drag that calculation to our filter shelf and say it has to be at least two. All right, so now we can, we can get rid of the does products exist and we only see products that both companies sell. So when we compare it to the east, you'll see our list of products change. We now have 778 rows. We go to the south, we have 766 products in common. And if we go to the west, we have 794 products in common. So that's the basic way that you can use a combination of table calcs and a parameter to only show products that you both sell. But let's extend this a little bit farther. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this sheet and I'm gonna actually wanna make this visually a bit more appealing. So what I wanna do in this case is I want to create a, uh, a bar chart sort of similar to uh, what would be a bullet graph. So I wanna do a, a, a bar chart for my sales and a reference line for sales for my competitor. So I'm gonna create a calculated field and I'm gonna call it our sales. I'm gonna say if the company is equal to central, which is us, then give me the sales, else give me zero, end. And then I want to create another calculated field, that is our competitor sales. And again, this is gonna say if my companies is equal to my parameter, then give me sales, else zero, end. All right, hit okay. So now we have these two things. So if we put these in the view now, so let's take sales off. Let's put our sales in the view. And you'll see we get 13,940 13, and zero. And if I put our competitor sales in the view, so now we get a, a nice little split here. But what we need to do is we need, uh, we need to be able to calculate the, the, the uh, so if I go ahead and, and ideally what I want to do is I want to create a bar chart. So I'm going to put our sales there and I'm going to put competitor on the detail and then I'm going to move companies to the detail shelf as well. So from here, what I want to do is I need to go to the analytics pane and drop on a cell level reference line. And this is going to be our competitor sales, and I'm going to make it black. I'm going to untick the recalculate, and then hit OK. So now we can see, uh, let me go ahead and format my reference lines a bit. And I'm going to make them get rid of the... OK. So now we can see, and then uh, because I have uh, companies on the marks card, you'll see I've got these gray borders around my bars. So I'm just going to go down to here and remove the borders. And maybe what I'll do is I'll sort my products by my, our sales. So let's sort by our sales. Okay, so now we can, we can see our sales, our competitor sales are on, the, are on the reference line. And I can see the difference between the two. But now what I want to do is I want to color code these bars so it makes it easier for me to know which ones we are uh, underperforming against our competition. So to do that, I'm going to create another calculated field. Um, so let's just call this, uh, I'm going to call this doing worse. So in this case, what I want to say is, I want to do the window sum of, of our sales. And I need to wrap this in a sum. And when I say, is that less than the window sum of the sum of competitor sales. And that's gonna give me a Boolean. And let's go ahead and drag that to the color shelf. 
And you'll notice it doesn't look like it's working right. Well, that's because we need to set it to compute using, um, oh, not the product name, sorry. We want to compute using companies. All right, so now you can see this orange bar here. So what I'm going to do is to make to emphasize this, I'm going to make the trues red, and I'm going to just go ahead and maybe make the falses maybe a light gray. So this really makes it stand out the areas that we're not doing as well. And if you wanted, you could even, uh, if you wanted to extend this a little bit farther, you could even choose to uh, hide the falses. So if I hide the falses, now it's only showing us products that uh, we are both selling, but we are doing worse in. And that list will change depending on the competitor that you choose. So I'm going to go ahead and show hidden data to put that back. All right, so again, just a pretty simple way of using a couple of calculations to, uh, to compare your own sales to your competitor's sales. So hopefully you found that helpful, and I'll be back with another tip.